Hello, my name is Neil Eide from Skyway Software and in this screencast I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the scaffolding tutorial that's available in My Eclipse for Spring 8.5. The only requirement for this tutorial is that you must have My Eclipse for Spring 8.5. Uh, you can have either an evaluation version or a licensed version, obviously. And uh, My Eclipse for Spring is available from the MyEclipseIDE.com website. The tutorial itself is available in uh, a couple different places. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you can find it within the help system of My Eclipse for Spring. So if you go ahead and uh, pull up the help system, you will see a folder called My Eclipse for Spring. And within there, you will see the reference guide as well as any other tutorials that we publish. And uh, the scaffolding tutorial is right here. The tutorial is also available within the educational materials that are available on the MyEclipseID.com website. Uh, if you click over here, select educational materials, that will bring you to the educational materials page and then you can actually scroll down to the My Eclipse for Spring section and this is once again you will see the same reference guide and the same tutorials that you uh, will also find within the help system of the product. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. What we're looking at here is basically a stock installation of My Eclipse for Spring. I haven't added anything else. This is uh, this installation by default has the application server, which is Tomcat, a database, which is Derby, as well as all of the Spring functionality, uh, including the scaffolding functionality that I'm going to walk you through right now. So we'll go ahead and start by right-clicking on the Package Explorer and selecting New Project. And I'll give this project a name, Customers app. I'll select finish, hit yes to any of the pop-up windows, and now I have a stock Eclipse web project. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to invoke the scaffolding functionality, which is available from the My Eclipse menu. So if I go here, I select scaffold spring MVC cred application from, it's going to pull up a pop-up window, which is going to prompt me, let me re relocate this a little bit, it's going to pull up a pop-up window, which, which is going to basically ask me, where do I want to scaffold from? So for the tutorial, we're actually going to scaffold from a database. It's a pre-existing database that already exists within my Derby database management system. So I'm going to go ahead and select on database schema, and the wizard will walk me through the rest of the steps and ask me any information that it needs in order to produce a fully prepared, ready to run Spring MVC application. So the first thing it needs to know is where, which database uh, connection should it be using. Um, in this case I only have one. This is the default database connection that comes with My Eclipse for Spring, so we'll go ahead and use that one. Next it's going to ask me for the databases and the, the specific databases that I want to use for scaffolding. So I'm going to go ahead and use from the classic car schema. It's going to show me a list of all of the available tables in there and I'm going to go ahead and select the customer table. I'm going to add it to my scaffolding panel here and then I'm going to click next. Um, it's going to ask me some information uh, and since I only have one domain object this is not there's not really very much for me to do here. Um, and then it's going to actually ask me for uh, some uh, generation information. So it needs to know what layers of the application do I actually want to generate and what package name I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use org customers app and you'll notice that all of the other package names were automatically um, were automatically filled in for me. Then I'll click next it's going to go ahead and ask me uh, about where I want to generate the code to and what, what uh, libraries I want to have included within my project and then finally give me a summary and then I can go ahead and click finish and it will scaffold the application for me. Once the wizard is done you will see that the package explorer has been filled in with a bunch of additional information. I have all of my libraries and all of my dependencies. I have a bunch of generated code based on the database tables that I selected and I have all of my web content including the web pages and spring configurations and everything necessary in order to be able to run this application. In order to run this application I can just right click on the project and select run as my Eclipse server application. And from here, it'll pull it up. It'll launch the application into Tomcat as well as bring it up uh, the application here. And I can actually click on the links and it will pull up uh, the different pages. Let me go full screen on this, pull up the different pages within the application. 
that's it for the screencast. Thank you.